Richard and I have been studying snafu catching for over 35 years, right? We don't really look that old. We, we started... Uh, I started when I was a baby. Yeah. And <laughs> we've looked at it in every kind of setting. And what's exciting for us is studying how you do snafu catching because you represent the future. You're innovating new ways to do snafu catching, right, to build resilience at scale in a changing, more powerful world. So, the, you know, this is posted, this is actually uh, posted on somebody's wall, a little piece of paper which says, and I'll read it for you, theory is when you know everything but nothing works, practice is when everything works but no one knows why, in our lab, theory and practice are combined, nothing works, and nobody knows why. <laughs> but it really captures the flavor of the world that you live in, right? I mean, we, we don't know why things work, and, and we don't know why they fail, and we're spending our lives very often, it, our, our lives are spent not trying to make the world a better place, but trying to keep it from falling apart. So much of our energy and effort is devoted to figuring out why things behave the way they do that we're often tr sort of caught up in this world of discovering what we've already put into our own systems. We build things and then we discover what they do by real experience. So the key idea here is, is for us is that you have this model of the world. You, and this is, this is my sketch of your model of the world, which is you have this, this stuff that is your system sort of in that cloud that, that the, all the things that are working out there and, and they're connecting up to the outside world and then you have things for manipulating that you've got you've got code generating tools and deployment tools and and organization tools and you know container tools and monitoring tools and you've got all that stuff and it's all connected together but it's all really function its function is to change what's inside that bubble and to keep what's inside that bubble pristine and working. But this is probably too narrow a view. In fact, that's only a small portion of what's going on in this world. What's also happening in this system is monitoring and anticipating and organizing and planning and learning and troubleshooting, the stuff that you do. And when we talk about systems, what we really mean is not the stuff in that bubble or even the collection of boxes around the bubble, but this larger th thing that includes the things that you are doing. What we're really talking about is trying to get a view that goes above the line here. The whole point of this is that the focus of being below the line, the area where most of us with technical backgrounds are pretty comfortable, is not actually the system. The system is also you.